You're listening to the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, the Hot Commodity Ant C, and today you're checking out our WWE Monday Night Raw recap from April 22nd, 2024, live in Columbus, Ohio, and I cannot believe we are almost at the end of April. I feel like April had just started, but here we are. To kick off Monday Night Raw in Columbus, Jay Uso comes out, and Jay says, I got a lot to prove at Backlash. I have to beat Damian Priest to make sure everything I went through was worth it. That's when world champion Damian Priest comes out. Damian says, I came here to tell you the yeet, it's a vibe. It suits you. Congratulations. We went to war last year. I never talked about this in public. There was one night you whooped my ass so bad that I told you in the locker room you earned my respect. Then I told you we were going out and I would pay. You said to me we were next. Now, I am proud to stand here with you and tell you you were right. Well, you were half right. I was next. This title shows why I was next and why I'm now. You're just the first to fall, and then you get to lead the fans to all rise for El Champion. Jay grabs the mic. He says, take it easy. That's all you see me as? Just another Uso? You're the leader of the Judgment Day, but that's only because Mommy got hurt, and that makes you Dominic Mysterio's bitch. You made yourself champion. You getting fed to me because I'm next. JD McDonough comes out from behind, goes to attack. Jay goes to super kick JD. JD moves and Jay accidentally hits Damian Priest with a super kick. And Damian Priest is left upset at JD McDonough. This is a decent promo. Um, There's not a lot of backstory for this match. Jay just won the fatal four-way. But I do like how they're adding this story of Damien and Jay having a backstage conversation. J.D. McDonough keeps fucking up. He keeps uh, accidentally ruining things for the Judgment Day. I think his time is up, but Damien Priest is is not happy right now. Our first match of the night is for the World Tag Team Championships. The World Tag Team Champions Awesome Truth defeating DIY after Awesome Truth hit a truth-crushing finale to Johnny Gargano to get a three-count. After the match, Johnny Gargano shakes Awesome Truth's hands, but Tomasa Champa does not. He leaves looking upset. Is this going to be the breakup of DIY? Who knows? A lot of people are leaving groups right now, so maybe they will be split up. Damian Priest is backstage and tells JD McDonough that he failed. Dominic Mysterio shows up with his arm in a cast and has just and he informs Damian Priest that because of his injury, Santos Escobar will team team up with JD McDonough tonight. Priest says it's a problem, but handle it and stay out of my business. So Damian Priest is becoming more and more on his own, and he does not want Judgment Day to get involved in his stuff. Imperium come out next. Gunther says, I took time away to digest everything that happened. For 666 days, I elevated the Intercontinental Championship. I became the greatest Intercontinental Champion in history. I walked out with a target on my back. That target has been lifted off my shoulders. Sami Zayn, thank you. Now I'm the hunter, and I can do whatever I want. My name will be embedded in WWE, and I will win the King of the Ring tournament. That's when the New Day come out. Xavier Woods says he'll be a two-time King of the Ring winner, and we get Imperium versus the New Day in a tag team match next. Uh, Xavier Woods jumped off the apron onto Ludwig Kaiser, and New Day land a midnight hour to Vinci to get a three-count New Day defeats Imperium. After the match, the craziest moment happens here. Gunther looks at Ludwig Kaiser and walks off. Kaiser holds Giovanni Vinci, but then rams Giovanni Vinci into the LED board on the apron and lands a hard kick on the floor. Kaiser tosses Vinci into the post, onto a table, and yells how many years. He then tosses Vinci into the steps and kicks Vinci hard in the steps. Giovanni Vinci no longer a part of Imperium, it seems here. He's been kicked out by Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser. I'm just surprised on this crazy attack that Ludwig gave uh, Giovanni Vinci. Next, Drew McIntyre comes out and six like CM Punk. Drew says, why do you insist on chanting his name whenever I come out? That man actually hates all of you. You ever love something so much, but it doesn't love you back? That's like me with pro wrestling. I'm not going to complain. I will be the king of the ring. That's when Seamus comes out. Seamus says, what's going on, man? You're sulking. You're not taking your responsibility. I've known you for 20 years. We had banger after banger after banger. 
a one arm CM Punk kicked your ass. Drew says, for you, you've had burger after burger. Seamus says, I can lose the weight. You can't lose, stupid. Drew says, they trash you in the back and make fun of you, and I'm your only friend. I only fight when it's worth my while, and this is not. I'm going to watch your back tonight. So strong words from Drew to Seamus. Seamus telling Drew, you know, you got to get over this. You keep blaming everybody. Drew says, it is everybody's fault, and to watch your back. So now we have Seamus defeating Shinsuke Nakamura after a bro kick. And Drew didn't do anything to cost Sheamus the match, but it looks as if Drew might be helping Sheamus. Next up, Chad Cable comes out with Alpha Academy. Cable says, what I did to Sami Zayn last week was justified. Sammy bragged about winning. He knew that was my moment. I was wasting my time training losers. I got a problem with you, Tazawa. You dance and keep losing. Maxine, pretty as a princess, but dumb as rocks. Otis, you're the biggest disappointment of it all. You want honest feedback. We are going to focus on Gable. And you're going to help me no matter what, right? Say it together. Otis says no matter what. And Chad says good. So we have a new Alpha Academy. Chad Gable is a nasty, mean leader. And he wants to worry about himself. Next, we have Andrade and Ricochet defeating Judgment Day. I'm sorry, defeating GD McDonough and Santos Escobar with Dominic Mysterio after Andrade hits JD with a shadow. After Damian Priest attacks both Ricochet and Andrade, Priest hits a razor's edge to Ricochet and a south of heaven to Andrade. Priest tells Dominic and JD he doesn't need them. They need him. So... Damian Priest, I don't know, guys. I think he's going to be leaving Judgment Day pretty soon. He does not seem happy to be in the stable anymore. We see Liv Morgan and Nia Jax fighting backstage and they get separated. We have our main event here now, the World Women's Championship on the line in a battle royal. During the match, Maxine eliminates Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. Becky Lynch is tossed on a table and Nia Jax hits a Samoan drop on Piper Niven onto Becky Lynch on the table. The final three are Nia, Liv, and Becky. Uh, they are able to eliminate Nia, and the final two are Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan. Becky hits a manhandle, slams Liv Morgan on the apron to the floor, and we have a new WWE World Women's Champion and the man Becky Lynch. A lot of fans are not happy that she won. However, I am ecstatic. I got to meet her. I met the World Women's Champion. She is a great person. I'm so excited that she's champion. I know she's been champion for a long time, but it is what it is. I mean, Charlotte Flair has been champion like 14 times already, so... I'm a big Becky Lynch fan. I'm glad she won. A lot of craziness happen, happening here on Raw. We're on the road to the draft that takes place this Friday on SmackDown. We'll continue next week on Raw. And Backlash is a couple of weeks away. I'm excited. They're going to be in France. A lot of stuff coming your way. Until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.